How's it going, guys and gals? I am the the new replacement host. No, not really. Uh, but Oompa is not here yet again. He will be. He's uh, busy traveling, so I've been stepping in on the the show. But I could assure you that you won't have to deal with my face. Uh, next week we'll have we'll have Caleb back on. But uh, to start off, we have Mudahar here. We have Nux, and the guest today is Surreal Entertainment. So let's begin. Yeah, it's pretty great. I love that. Um... Art introduced us because he's been getting hate on our episodes. That who's this guy replacing Umpaville? <laughs> can't you can't just pretend that you don't? Well, Art, Art, uh, just just to just to completely sidetrack the whole thing. When are we when are we picking up a certain someone from prison? Oh, uh, certain someone from prison. I don't know. Is there any updates with Christian? <laughs> no. I don't. <laughs> yeah, you just you everyone used the knows wrong who we're name. talking about. I think people could fill in the gaps. We could, like, let's let's have Tara bleep out. Uh, you know who I said right there. Uh, if we're gonna keep yeah, the, the allure. No. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that's still an ongoing case. Uh, don't know any updates about that. But yeah, I, I can't wait for that whole f- fucking case to end, man. Like it's 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 about it's about time. I, you know, as soon as that case ends, Netflix is picking up like some documentary on that whole thing. It will end up becoming like a. So, like an internet like thing down the road. Yeah, someone true. claimed, I don't know if this is true, that Gino Samuel is in contact with someone at Netflix to make some sort of documentary. I haven't talked to him about it. I, I heard rumors of this, so it, it makes sense. It, it, it it's the kind of inevitable. It's such a story. I just don't know how Netflix is going to take that and make it a cohesive narrative for a general audience because the problem with Chris Chan is that you have to have so much backstory of him to understand the references for how the trolls mess with him, mm-hmm. like in the golden era of the trolling. So it, it's just, there's there's, there's a lot of build up lore. to get to the good stuff. I don't know, too man. Much the way I see it, we're in Marvel's sixth phase. We could have six phases of Chris Chan. I think it would be huge. Do you do you think uh do you think they'll do you think they'll do it like a documentary or they'll make it like a dramatized thing with like an actual actor like all the actors coming together like reenacting all the all the moments I I think it will be a documentary it, it would be okay. very difficult and it would it would be NC seventeen if they actually tried to recreate Christian <laughs> Oh shit I just forgot like the final episode would be like they'd have to Oh yeah wait no. Yeah, I don't know how they. I don't and know who would they cast. <laughs> oh, Chris Pratt is Chris Christine Chandler. <laughs> no, I, I there was a. It's a me, Gary Sutan. Someone did a fan cast of the of the for the movie about Chris Chan, and they had uh, Jonah Hill as as Chris. Oh, <laughs> so, that would be. You interesting. think Jonah Hill could actually pull off the range required to be a Christine Chandler? I don't I know. I think the, the only person that could have done a good enough job is Keith Ledger, but unfortunately, he's gone too soon. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Who, who would Bob wouldn't. be? Because I think Bob would be Alec Baldwin. No, j- that. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. See, like you're thinking about it. That's what I was thinking. You're thinking about it, dude. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. You, you know, you know, like you know, Liquid Chris could be that guy from the new Batman movie, the Riddler. Oh, that would. Oh my God. That'd be oh pretty God, good. I got it. Yeah, no, but but at the end of the day, like the, the reality is, it's like at some point that'll be like the biggest story, and I just want it to kind of end. I just want it to like kind of find because it, it has to have an end. It has to like completely finish. But I don't know, like it's just gonna end up with a state worker taking care of that person, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, I I think the best thing, at least in my opinion, would be Chris being put into some sort of halfway house where they're under supervision twenty four seven, or at least most of the yeah. time, and someone's monitoring their internet access. So they're not a corresponding with any trolls. I think that that's really yeah. the only way to go about it's, uh, it. It's real about trolling. You come across any sort of any sort of trolling on your animation? Uh, any sort of internet tomfoolery? Not so much trolling, but more like uh, I mean, I mean, I'm sure you guys have uh, uh, seen it as well on your channels. Like, there's like one or two or three types of comments that show up all the time. And one uh, one I get is always like. Uh, pros, his animations are getting better. Cons, his animations are getting better. Like, yeah. it's funny the yeah. first time, but after like the five thousand time, it's like, yeah. I guess you're you're in quite a niche though. Like, yeah. uh, I I think that animations in general have veered. Animations on YouTube veered towards a more horror aesthetic yeah. lately, like with you and Meat Canyon and 
a lot of the bigger animation channels we see today have a horror commentary take on whatever the subject matter is. Yeah, it's like Meat Candy, and it's like, especially nowadays, and like the last two uploads, he like he's just been on it, you know? I remember like as soon as I heard about Dream, he already had like an animation ready to go, I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know, like, the, it's, it's, yeah, like, uh, yeah. well, I started seeing the Meat Canyon, like, like the, you know, the, the traditional art style, but it, like, like when the Dream face reveal happened, I'm like, the whole face reveal was like two hours ago, like, what the fuck? Yeah, how'd you do how that? Did you already have the animation, yeah, like. So, I, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe, because, you know, Dream kept, like, making leaks and stuff, you never know, maybe he reached out to Meat Canyon with a face reveal first. <laughs> He got dude, bullied he got on bullied. the internet for that, dude. He got bullied. Like, yeah. <laughs> motherfuckers like, Dream is ugly. I'm like, damn, dude, if that's like the barometer shit, we don't have a chance. Yeah, put the mask back on was trending on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> so <rude. laughs> well it's very interesting because there was leaked pictures of dream beforehand where he was pretty overweight and it kind of seems that he waited to reveal uh his yeah. face when he actually lost it all and he was yeah. felt comfortable in his body that's kind of the the theory i go with of why it happened now i mean i feel like it happened now because he wanted to do collabs like irl collabs because he sees that's where content really goes. Anyone that gets mm -hmm. big enough has to start doing the IRL collabs with other big names. And he can't do that if he's faceless. So he just has to make a bombastic face reveal to really kind of just milk milk the situation, I guess. He's like, all right, I didn't reveal my face until now. And I kind of want to at this point. So, like, I guess we're doing it, guys. That was kind of the impression I got. Yeah. What was the point? Just, um, uh... Like, uh, he had this one angle. During the whole face reveal video. Yeah, that See, was amazing. He's just sitting there with my, his chin out the whole time. <laughs> that's why I think it, it was about the weight loss of why he waited so long. He revealed that he had a jawline now because he lost all the weight and he yeah. didn't have a double chin any longer. That's that's the vibe I got. Could it be that he just mm. uh, thinks like that's his good side and he just... <laughs> that was his troll face. Nah, nah, he's just two faced from Batman. Oh, so that was he's the best the whole time meme. He's looking at oh. one side of his face. <laughs> That, that was my favorite meme. It's like trying to get into Dream's phone because he has face ID and it's just like a troll face. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys are just actual like assholes to him. But yeah, no, I I don't know if that photo of like the fat kid was like true. Actually, no, that looked a lot like Dream. So maybe, like may, I, may, maybe that could have been him. I went back after the fact with the face reveal. I'm like, is that the same person? It looks like him in high school. That's... I, I think, yeah, I'm uh, still on the fence about it. I mean, it does it does have uh, a lot of similarities, but I I can't say for sure. But, uh, yeah, I just don't know where they got like the fat like dream thing from. Like it just that was like the meme beforehand. But like as soon as he like fucking shows his face, it's just it's it's ironic because it's the same community like the Minecraft like kids that are like you know like all the whole positivity bullshit. Like you go onto their whole like. You know that that, yeah. that side of the yeah. community, and yet they're still they're like as they're like more toxic than like our side of the community, where it's like, like they, they just straight up call them like some. I'm like, how could you? How could you like hate Dream? He's like some generic looking like default character. Like, I mean, not, not to say it's wrong. It's like in a character creator default, like he's just like the standard creation. I'm like, damn, dude, pull the fuck out. Yeah, I mean, he's like it's the same community. He just looks like a random guy. I mean, yeah, nothing wrong at all. Yeah. Yeah, and then like I, you I know, the whole community. It, no one expected anything different. I think people were just clowning on him for the sake of clowning on him. Like it's a clown mm -hmm. thing at the end of the day, and that, yeah. that's I think why a lot of cancel cancellations and callouts happen. It's just you're trying to drive clout to yourself somehow by mm. you yeah. know, talking about something public. And I, Did you see his I, response to Kanye West? Who responded? To yeah, Kanye West? dude, Kanye. Dream? What the fuck are we on about? Kanye is insane. Dude, here I was the whole time appropriating his culture. I am so offended. Yeah, how, do, how does it feel that Kanye is going DEFCON 3 on... <laughs> Literally, right? Okay, my, I, I don't know, when I read that tweet... I, I I, I'm gonna read the tweet. Let me see if I Yeah, can... please, I was gonna oh, pull no, up another one. Oh no, it violated one. Twitter rules, they took it down! No, dude, I... Of course there's yeah, screenshot. Yeah, there's like screenshot, yeah. Surreal, you 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 seen the Kanye? You seen the Kanye fucking bomb? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've I've been following <laughs> yeah. his uh, insane arc like the last year or so. See, and... I think it's so <laughs> sad because he, he's clearly very manic depressive. 
Like he's yeah. mega bipolar. But that doesn't let him become like anti. No, I've, I've had moments, but I never was like, man, let me drop my anti Semitic arc. Hold on. So, I, I had this it's available. Well. It's I have yeah. this available. All right, all right, right I, found, I found the tweet. Oh, I'm a bit you, you, sleepy tonight, but when I wake up, I'm going on Death Con 3 on Jewish people. The funny thing is, I can't actually be anti Semitic because black people are actually Jew. Also, you guys have toyed with me and tried to blackball anyone who ever opposes your agenda. And then he tweets right after that, who do you think created cancel culture? <laughs> and that's and that's the one Dream responded with uh, by saying the liberals, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he jumped in. It's like, it's a liberal. Which I... I didn't know what the point of that, like, it's like, alright, okay, he's just making, like, a little goofy joke. Did he get, like, shit for it? Uh, well, I mean, it's Dream, so of course. Oh. Uh, I guess people see it as a whistleblow as well. I mean, <laughs> he said, uh, been following Pete Davidson car for 30 minutes. Y'all about to be saying free Kanye in, like, five, though. So, uh, I, I don't know what that meant, but, uh. Oh what? Fuck? Wasn't that from, uh, no, from a, like, parody account? No, that's from him. It's, no. it's green check mark. It's a blue check mark. I mean, bro, you can't say it's for a parody account after he himself. Oh wait, wait, was it was <laughs> wait, damn, the you're right. It was no, no. Yeah. Someone else was verified and changed their name and profile yeah, exactly. to Kanye, so that was oh, not right. actually Kanye West. Wow. It's hard, but like, but like the Death Con three tweet. That's actually the fun. That's actually Kanye. That was real. That's one. Yeah. But the fact that I saw that, I'm like, that's something Kanye West posted. <laughs> it just goes to show yeah. how far <laughs> we've uh, fallen. Wondershare Filmora is the podcast sponsor. Filmora itself is a very easy to use video editing software. Are you a content creator and need something that'll absolutely take some stress off of you? Filmora is a piece of software that'll absolutely be useful for anybody with all kinds of editing experience. Even if you're an expert or somebody that's never touched a video editor in their life will absolutely love Filmora because of how easy it is and make your process, make your banger videos even easier with text, overlays, and filters to get rid of all of that hassle for you. Filmora comes at you, all right, with more value than Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro X when it comes to budget friendliness. And of course, the main features here include a ton of video editing suite software, such as split screening, screen recording, keyframing, and of course, having some proper motion tracking. It's free to try. You get a little bit of a watermark when you play around with it. But ladies and gentlemen, that's just the fun of editing around with video. So if you're somebody who's a content creator that wants to make more content and spend less time actually pushing that content and out to the people to watch, try Filmora. It might take an absolute load off your shoulders too. Let us know what you use as a video editor if you're a content creator in the comment section below. And if you use Filmora after you've tried it, let us know how you feel about it. Ladies and gentlemen, there ain't no harm in trying. Anyways, let's get back to the podcast. I mean, I kind of like spit out my coffee on that one. Like as soon as he tweeted that, I'm like, you, uh, <laughs> yeah, what's, so, what's, a, what's going on tonight? That was a wacky one. Nice. Well, it, it, it's funny how, like, I think Elon Musk was in that shit, too, which Elon Musk is a fucking weird guy, by the way. Like, he's talking about, like, I, I think he made some fucking brain-dead shit about, like, China and Taiwan. I'm like, all right, Elon, I think we need to, like, I, I, th I think I think we need to stop fucking going on social media. I mean, I get that you bought Twitter, but it doesn't make you less cringier is all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's just weird with, like, Kanye, because it's, like... It's funny how, like, the, he'll still have, like, people that, are, like, are dick lickers. Like, they're just gonna sit there and defend him after shit like what that. I, what I find funny is people will shit on Kanye whenever he makes these tweets. Obviously, for good reason. And then he'll yeah. come out in support of someone and they'll say, Kanye, you're supporting me! Like, you're, <laughs> you remember that whole Dragon Energy tweet? Like, a yeah. couple of years ago with Trump? No. He's like, I like Very Trump because cool, Trump has Dragon Energy. And Trump's like, thank you, Kanye. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> that tweet, that whole back well, thank you, Kanye. Very cool. Yeah, right, that if, whole back and forth. I'm at the gym and Fox News is just playing on the screen and half the time they've just been talking about Kanye West and how, you know, the, the mainstream media is attacking him for speaking his mind because they, they don't is it, Isn't Fox mainstream, though? Fox News? Oh, they're... they're the, he, no, no, Kanye no. did this really Fox long News. interview with Tucker Fox Carlson. News. Uh, Fox News is the little indie studio. They just popped yeah, up out of nowhere. Fuck? What? What? Why did that, why, I don't understand why, like that whole side of the news is like where the small guys being silenced and censored when they're like the largest channels. It's like, you know, if like Steven Crowder's like, I'm being silenced and shut down. I'm like, what, dude? You're, you're the, still like one of the, he's biggest, the biggest streamer on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. 
What do you mean? They're not, you're, you're being, this is what silence is being look like. Shit, silence, fuck. I don't mind. No, the, 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 it's, it's, it's wild. Like I, I, he was on like Tucker Carlson and like, he said a bunch of shit. Like I saw like the, some of the, some of the clips coming out. I don't know. Anything with Tucker Carlson is just wild to me. Like that, that guy, that guy just, that guy just spouts conspiracy shit all the time on Fox. And it's, they, I mean, they let it happen. I mean, fuck, you know what I do want to do with Tucker Carlson though? So I found out cause I thought Tucker Carlson was like from, from like Texas or some like super red state. Right. Mm-hmm. He's from San Francisco, California. So what I want to do with old Tucker is I want to fucking fly with him to Frisco. And you know, have you guys ever heard of the poop? The what? No. <laughs> no. You guys have never heard of the poop map in Frisco? Oh my god. Oh, okay. yes, yes. Yeah, so so San Francisco has such a public shitting problem. Oh, yes, I did hear about this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so San Francisco has <laughs> such a shitting problem that I, I don't know if it's like a tech company. I have to like look at the poop map. It's like a website on there. I think it's also an app on the app store that you can download too. Like fucking whole like, you know, location, navig- like everything. So it's like when you're going around San Francisco... You just can't avoid the shit. Apparently, it's so bad that they've got like, they've got like star ratings on the shit too, right? It's like, oh boy, it's, uh, it's there, there's a few ten stars on the way here to work, so just be a little careful if you're carrying those nice new shoes. But yeah, that's um, that's hell? one of the that's one of the realities of like Frisco. So I want to take like fucking, I want to take Tucker with me back to his home city and be like, all right, Tucker, we're gonna go explore the land of like you know poop mapping. And fucking explore that way. I mean, but, I, yeah. I would get Tucker Carlson on the podcast. I'd have him. Tucker on. would get oh, us would. banned. Tucker is fucking. Tucker, his, Tucker would say some. Sh- his clips get crazy views on YouTube because he, here's the interesting thing: is when YouTube changed the rules to promote authoritative sources for news coverage, they included Fox News in that pool because they couldn't be accused of being biased towards one side. So Fox News, Tucker Carlson will go out and say all this you know crazy stuff and it gets promoted on the front page youtube doesn't question it at all just because they don't want to deal with the backlash and yeah, I, uh, I mean, you know just having Tucker. republican senators trying to you know shut them down yeah i don't blame i mean them. like they shut us down if we uploaded the same shit that yeah. He absolutely fucking... yeah <laughs> instantly well have you have you been have you ever been shut down some fucking shitty like community guidelines strike this for real like has, has it happened to you like on your animation has youtube ever taken something that you've done and been like oh that man's a porn violent snuff to the platform <laughs> um i've actually tried to avoid uh community guidelines uh stuff as much as possible but i have one video uh just called I hate my wife, which is like uh, <laughs> when. Uh, oh, that's a that's a spooky title, buddy. Yeah, and that was uh, demonetized. <laughs> but I mean, I've okay. I've had bro uh, all your videos. You got one video just regular demonetized. I had also another one where I made like a Charlie bit my finger parody, and okay. I think that one was age restricted. Which I, I mean, I get it. If it gets recommended, like after some kid watching uh, Charlie bit my finger, and then they get traumatized for life, I understand that. Well, it is cannibalism. Yeah, so. true. Well, that doesn't listen, guys. I just came across like, a fucking. I just, I just came across channels that was promoting like you know, I guess I could say like the final final stage of like you know full furry dumb, if you will, right? And you, you just saw like ads running on that shit. YouTube saw like at like the final stage of like you know loving your dog I guess you could say that's like YouTube YouTube still had like ads running and so I don't know man with me at this point like I just don't even like question it I'm just like I'm always just baffled by the system I'm like age restrictions just get tossed around like candy here but especially when it comes to like news sources or anything they can just get away with saying what the fuck they want yeah do you guys have a, but, a bunch uh, of uh, demonetization problems yes yeah yes <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, yeah yes. tons. You have uh, you guys ever gotten an email from YouTube telling you not to harm yourself? No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Ever gotten these? Yeah. It's, it's the most demonetized because of self harm, and then then they send me. And then they, they send... send you like the it... what's it called? Like the. Please don't hurt yourself. Here's like suicide, suicide hotline, hotline numbers hotline and stuff. stuff. Yeah. It's it's so off putting to have YouTube sending you emails like that. Uh, it's like, I mean, hey, we age restricted your video and took away your livelihood. But uh, you know, if, if, you're, if you're feeling like uh, you know jumping, then uh, you know, please don't, don't do kill that. Don't yourself. You're so sexy. Yeah. 
Twitter does that. I mean, Facebook will do. I think Facebook does that too. But like, I'm like, why would Facebook send it? I mean, your CEO is already fucking dead inside, anyway. So it's like, I'm just joining the fucking club. Crying. Could you die in the metaverse, dude? Have you seen you fucking like Avatar for for the one that Mark, Mark Zuckerberg? Zuckerberg has? Yeah. yeah. He looks it's... more. That looks more alive than his actual human body. <laughs> what? The fuck? Well, I guess it's yeah. great advertising in that case. Uh, dude, who the <laughs> fuck? Okay, let's use the metaverse. Are we at some point gonna like put headsets on and communicate with each other in, in like a in like a metaverse roundtable? It's not going to be through the Facebook metaverse, I don't think. Uh, th th that's the thing that I don't understand is that everyone that's promoting the metaverse, it's not just regular people are, that are like, "Oh, this sounds cool." It's just a bunch of tech bros and crypto degenerates seeing if they could like make a quick buck yeah. off it. That's the only people I see promoting the metaverse stuff. There is no general uh, curiosity from the public. Yeah, I mean, who is actually using the metaverse? Like, actually... It's just a bunch of people that are buying fake houses in the metaverse yeah. and stuff because they think that they're going to flip them for a profit later on. It's just speculation. Uh, yeah. Have you jumped into the metaverse at all, Sura? Have you, like, put on the goggles? Uh, I have. have you... I have not. I don't have a VR headset. But I made a, I made a video, like a 360 video uh yeah with like uh so you can like put the headset on and like look around it yeah and that's just yeah. him uh, like he offers offers you something in the metaverse and then you decline it and he just basically kills you i kind of want i kind i kind of want to put the headset on and watch that actually <laughs> That might be the only good thing that I've ever done with my headset, man. Like, you can't... <laughs> may, okay, so first off, like, with VR headsets, like, if you, nobody's ever used them, it's fucking uncomfortable, okay? Like, you can yeah. only use them for, like, maybe 30 minutes, an hour. Like, I don't understand... Right. Like, I don't understand people who are, like, I've used VR headsets uh, for, like, like, three hours the same the people that made plane earphones made the, uh, like, airplane earphones made headsets for VR. Yeah. It's, like, yeah, they're the... uncomfortable. I don't understand. What's uncomfortable about it? Are they, like, heavy, or...? Um, they just sit on your face weird. The thing about it is, like, you're constantly trying to fix it up. Oh, yeah. It's like the focus keeps going off. So it's like, <laughs> you can never truly get immersed because, like, when it gets comfortable, like, a second later, it's like, oh, shit, everything's blurry again. Christ. Right, yeah. It's like you're a drunk dude, like, trying to, like, fix up, you know, you're, like, it's just, it's just, it's weird. And then, yeah, you do feel it. And your eyes, like, there's such a fucking concentration of, like, heat that builds up around here. So it just gets sweaty. It's... It's uncomfortable in, in a lot of ways. And it's like the people that play games for like three hours on it, I'm like, I just don't get it, man. Like, you're, you're like, <laughs> like may, 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 I guess maybe people have like different tolerances. But yeah, when it comes to like the metaverse shit, it's like a lot of it is just we've all been on Habba Hotel. Yeah, like we've all been on like RuneScape and all that yeah. shit as kids. It's pretty much that as a concept, except, you know, you just get to like move your avatars around and like wave high, like crudely at people. And that, that's about it. Like, there's nothing more substantial than it. The graphics are literally Roblox here. Like, it's yeah. actually well, worse. Roblox is metaverse. That's the yeah, thing. Like they, yeah. People are like, oh, the me metaverse is the future. And it's like, children are on metaverse right now. No, it's yeah. just, it, the problem is Roblox is fun. It's creative. It's not just these. Uh, Why like, go to weird... metaverse? We have metaverse it... at home. Metaverse at home. Well, it's interesting because like they're trying to hijack these weird terms right like we used to play like okay if you if you go up to our generation and you tell people hey what do the words fortnite uh rainbow six uh call of duty have in common and we're like oh video games like you know massively multiplayer video games right or like world of warcraft or final fantasy or like any mmo but like you go to these new crypto bros are like oh they're just different metaverses i'm like no no, they're fucking games, okay? They're like social <laughs> games that you connect to. I'm not living in the fucking world of WoW. I don't, I don't, I'm not that, I mean, some people are, but I'm not that into a game like where I'm signing in and I'm like, all right, boys, let me role play as hard as I can. Okay, No, nobody's doing that. And also, like, they for com conveniently always leave out that the only reason those are as successful as they are is because there's not a great degree of discomfort required to play WoW, you know? Like, you can... You can, like, fucking have your bag of Doritos, your Mountain Dew, and, like, your fucking, your keyboard and mouse, and you can roll for, like, ten hours. I want to see you do that with, like, the headset on, you know? Like, most people who are into that shit like, are also not into moving the fuck around. <laughs> it's funny, you know? it's like, uh, you ever watch the anime Sword Art Online? It came out, like, ten years yeah. ago. So it's like, at least they understood that it would be uncomfortable. So it knocked you out, and it, like, uploaded your, uh, your subconscious or whatever to this game. So like you feel like you, you don't feel like you're wearing a headset, right? It's yeah. Like, 
At least they figured they knew ten years ago that it was going to be incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> it's like it's like the dot hack. Yeah, it's like any anime like that where it's like, oh, the this like fucking metaverse goggle like jumped on two hearts. So you're like hopping in and like you're joining this world online. I just don't know if we live in that whole thing yet. And it's it, it's inter- it, it, it's hard to like explain it to somebody that's like sucked the cult Kool Aid so hard. Like they just gulped it down, and it's it's just like how do how do I tell you that it's it's like actually fucking idea like how do i tell you like because the thing is a like he just released these new pro goggles they're for businesses but they're like fifteen hundred dollars yeah like fifteen yeah. like one thousand five like the meta pro or whatever and i'm like i'm sure there's gonna be a business or two that buys it but like do you actually believe a business will conference using this shit at all like yeah but, it's just way too... that's the only pitch they have for it yeah virtual conference rooms it's like well just use zoom it's it's not maybe that's a little better but is it really worth paying each employee to have a $1,500 pair of goggles so you could just sit in a virtual boardroom <laughs> with like crappy avatars and talk in like 30 minute calls. I just, it doesn't make sense why he would put all of his eggs in this basket. Oh, and it's, 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 it's like absolutely like fucking tank the company hard. It's like, hasn't he lost like half of his net worth th- because of all of this? Yes. Yes. He had, you know, Facebook used to be, I think over a trillion dollars. You want to know where it's at? 341 million. Ooh. It's fucking gone. What? It's yeah. he used to be like the, he might've been the richest person in the world or the second richest at one point, And in, now he's not even in the top 10 or in 20. Just this year alone, Facebook has lost 60% of its value. Damn. Damn. Six fucking percent has has gone that's insane sorry not facebook meta platforms meta. incorporated i'm 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 sorry mm-hmm. misinformation on my part. <laughs> fucking did they ever settle that lawsuit with a meta, meta pc or i don't the, the think problem they, i don't think they have man but at this point if they if he just keeps pushing the metaverse hard i think zach might be worth more <laughs> i, I dude, i'm i'm surprised this man is still acting ceo you know like if if you wake up one day and you're like, shit, 60% down on one of my investments, I don't know. There might need to be a shakeup going on. Facebook is like, fa- Facebook is just down the dumps ever since they've done that shit, ever since they went down to the metaverse crap. Yeah, it feels like any day something and, big is going to change the tide, but the, but the day never comes. And, and, and Mark Zuckerberg's tried to be more public recently, going on Joe Rogan and other podcasts to explain yeah. the metaverse. And even when you listen to him talk about it, it's just the uses for it aren't that interesting that he brings up. Oh, you could, you know, when you're on a Zoom call, you can't make direct eye contact because you're not looking at the webcam. You're looking down a little bit. So it's a little off putting. But with these new uh, VR headsets, you, like the eyes will fixate on where you're looking. And it's like it, it, that's your biggest selling point over just doing a Zoom call. I, makes no it's sense just, it's uh, like and you know the thing is this is like the longest fucking like this, this has been like a long game like he's thought about the metaverse shit for a while this man watched an episode of sword art online and it was like damn i'm gonna turn <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna burn 600 billion on this shit i'm gonna fucking go Dude, <laughs> I'm gonna I, I love how to also the like the main moral of sword art online is that it's a terrible idea <laughs> 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 no, he didn't. He didn't pick that up. No. Maybe he did, and that's where the company. It's like going all these to. people that try to escape their regular lives by being in the fantasy world, and then it turns out everyone feels like they're not accomplishing anything with their lives in the fantasy world, so they try to break out back into their real lives. Like that's the whole just, story. Like that's the plot progression. And he's like, "No, I I don't think that's the case. I think, yeah. <laughs> I think no. It, it's it's funny because like I think about like I think about how many how many businesses are going to like how many people are going to take this seriously and like actually communicate. Like, does he in his in his world? Okay, in like Mark Zuckerberg's fantasy world, does he imagine that all of us right now have like Meta Pro goggles on, all four of us, and we're having yes. this podcast and like you know the center of the sun together? Like, <laughs> is that the fucking idea that's what he believes that's what he thinks is going to happen uh he thinks that the technology will get cheap enough where the goggles will become just an everyday product like everyone has an iphone everyone will have a pair of meta goggles that they'll put on and spend a couple hours in them every day yeah it's just too it's just too and it'll bulky. become just like, yeah it feels like it's like 50 50 well, years away or something or more he, he says in 10 years, I think, or around there, that they'll be a lot cheaper and a lot lighter and the battery life will be better. But even with all that stuff, it's just, I don't want to be spending more time in, uh, you know, these big tech conglomerates ecosystem. I, I just, yeah, it's not something that appeals to the general public. People are kind of sick of these companies and this idea that, hey, give us more money and more power 
and more control of your life it's just it's not a good sell you have to make people excited for it and it's just not there yeah like my my whole thing about it is like the only thing that i would ever use like facebook or like and i include discord every piece of social media software really it's like okay when it comes to like youtube like i'll upload a video when it comes to discord i'll message a friend but yeah generally like when i'm done with youtube stuff i'm like out of the house or i'm like away from the computer or like anything else like even when it comes to like smartphones it's like I just like I just want to be able to like write an email, like message somebody and then just like throw it away and like forget about it. Like I'm not trying to go on and like experience other social medias when I'm off of like, you know, these primary platforms. And it's like for for face and obviously from a business perspective, the dude wants you to jump into like the metaverse like 24 hours a day if possible. Fuck, if they could get you to sleep in that bitch, they probably (laughs) want you to. But like, you know, at the end of the day, it's like nobody like people already want to de- decouple from their like smartphones i don't and their know this is and just this is and... the illuminati just trying to control us even yeah. more first they control our minds thinking the earth is round and now they're going to control our bodies yeah, it's like people want to like decouple from like the internet and like their devices and this motherfucker wants you to put a whole headset on and keep it on for hours it's like how do you like how do you sell that like what, what yeah. who do you well how do you convince somebody and then, and then he, he, here, here's the ticket with it is you'll get your uh, state Facebook assigned uh, concrete pod that you'll live in. And instead of paying for real estate, you'll pay for a view of your pod when you have your VR headset on. So you, instead of paying $200,000 for a house, you could pay $200,000 for a virtual surrounding while you live in your concrete pod. And when they send you their your generic cockroach food cubes to eat, you could pay for it to turn into caviar and VR or any other type of yep. food. And then you could pay in meta currency to eat it. And then, uh, you know, that that's your life. You know, you know the really fucking wild thing so this is this is a so we're gonna talk about mental gymnastics okay like real hard mental gymnastics i've tried explaining this but like this is an exact argument that i've gotten so they were like this is the future right and this could bring a lot of jobs to people that are disabled again they all like to use buzzwords where it's like they just pick the most like like what about people that are disabled you know they're missing three limbs okay like the the world (laughs) has left them behind okay like all right you're using like the most extreme fucking example so this guy this guy was like telling me so it's like nowadays if you heard like people can get jobs in the metaverse right so if you open a metaverse casino Mm -hmm. there are people hired to be like virtual dealers or like virtual service people right like they'll come by and like be actual like you know service agents like they'll hire them from like third world countries they'll give them like a computer or like you know some something to access the metaverse and they'll just be doing that job the whole day and it's like this will bring jobs to disabled people i'm like i'm like just picture this for a second okay you want to live in a metaverse this motherfuckers disabled they can't move they got a headset on 24 hours a day doing service shit for somebody in another country that's making a hundred times that they would ever make and they're just sitting in there, like again, they're like Amazon provided or Facebook provided, like cube. <laughs> and they and they, and, then, and then like for them going home is like you know they warp to like their metaverse mansion that they bought you know on like the blockchain, and that's that's their life. I'm like, well, here's the thing: is the disabled people they'll get paid in MetaCoin, and the MetaCoin you can't buy anything real with it. Let's be honest here: you could buy stuff in the metaverse with it. So you could you could work for Metaverse, live in the work in the Metaverse casino, and then you could use that to buy yourself a Metaverse house. I don't know. I feel it's, like it's, it's such convenient. a twisted concept in general. Like, oh, yeah. people. It's people dystopian. Feel, yeah. <laughs> how do people feel good about themselves? It's when they accomplish things, right? It's when they actually do something yeah. that they feel like a sense of accomplishment. For the most part, that's how people are actually happy. No one accomplishes anything in a metaverse, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's like buying a metaverse mansion is like, what did you actually get? Like, you still have to live in Nothing. your fucking actual, like, place of residence and then put the headset on to access it. Bro, you to don't me, even need to know about your real yeah. life. You just plug yourself well, like, into your metaverse mansion. You have a meta wife and some meta I mean, kids th- out there. Th- <laughs> th- that, that's like me getting, that's like me genuinely getting excited after finishing, like, the Grand Theft Auto storyline. I'm like, I'm a multi-millionaire now. I have a mansion and, like, all these supercars. Hey, bro, oh, it's a, it's bro in, you it's can drive video. those supercars <laughs> even if you're disabled. Yeah. I'm 
just saying. <laughs> that, that is true. Yeah, disabled people can like just yeah, exactly. You're right. No, but it's like it's like getting excited on GTA Online. Like for me, I like like for me, I'm sitting over there. I'm like, yeah, this is a video game that I'm killing some time on with some friends. That's about it, right? Like, there's nothing out of here. But like now, you've taken that same concept, and people are feeling like some sense of accomplishment. Like, hey, I bought this monkey JPEG, and now it's worth six hundred thousand dollars. Like Logan Paul's little monkey JPEG. At this point, right? Like he bought this on one forest NFT for like six hundred and twenty three thousand dollars. And he pulls that on, like, he shows it to the fan, which I, first off, like, this is my thing with Logan Paul. I think that dude, like, 100% has pushed some of the most insane shit possible. Like, uh, fucking On One Force, his crypto zoo crap, like, his whole, like, Twitter feed is just, like, cryptocurrency and, or, like, Prime Drink or whatever, whatever like, advertisement for, like, WWE. Yeah. But they'll, they'll buy these, like, $600,000, like, NFTs, and they'll, like, jump up a little bit in value, and it's like, yeah, I'm basically a fucking Wall Street investor. And then, like, <laughs> a year later, it dumps down to, like, like, nowadays, that same picture, he's getting offers for, like, 300 bucks, $10. Like, it's just gone. Like, it, it's not worth it. And the people shit. that want to buy it off him just want to say, I bought Logan Paul's $600,000 NFT. <laughs> I mean, I was about to yeah, put the it, largest offer. I was about to go. I was on stream. I was like, man, should I just give $1,600 and get like, the fucking NFT? And then I'm like, no, that's still $1,600 that Logan is getting. Like, Fuck that. I'm not I'm not helping recuperate this investment at all. <laughs> I mean, I'll give him five. A year ago when all these NFTs were going for outrageous money, six-figure yeah. amounts, I, I truly believe majority of those were just people buying them off themselves yeah, sure. to inflate the price. Well, yeah. Hey, let me list it for $100,000. And then just make a second account and then buy it for that hundred thousand dollars. And now it's worth a hundred thousand dollars because some random person bought it for that well, much. Um, it was just a lot of that. And then you got sucker celebrities that were buying those board apes, yo, which art, have did gone you down just, in value by Did you just third. define art fraud? Oh my god! Yeah, yeah well, they're investments. Name, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, there, there's a there's a term there's when a it term. comes to art and fraudulent <laughs> purchases. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you could be hinting. It's... <laughs> no, but like Kim Kardashian was just hit with a fine. Yeah, for but she it. got hit with a million. I would say a million dollar fine, it's dude. Nothing. It's like me getting a fifty dollar parking ticket. Like, oh god, oh no. <laughs> it literally is. It's like us getting a, t a parking ticket. That's what a million dollars is to these people. I, I, you really dude, have can, to hit them hard. Can I just hard. be real? Okay, if there's a degree of personal responsibility which we have to agree, right? All four of us can agree that in life. Your decisions have a degree of responsibility by you. What dumb motherfucker is buying any crypto that they saw on Kim Kardashian's page? Come on. I don't know. I do like, have to say, though, that was one of the greatest advertisements for crypto I've ever seen in my life. Did you see it was like a whole tree yeah. was blooming out of her vagina or whatever? <laughs> Wait. What? what? Did you no, see I <laughs> Whoa, whoa, what? whoa, yeah, hold on. Wait, a wait, wait. Am, I, am I thinking of some other celebrity that did that? You're thinking of Madonna, brother. Oh, Madonna's oh. got pussy NFTs. Yeah, I'm like, no, I <laughs> yeah, Madonna. Same idea. Yeah. Did, did I tell you guys about the uh, nuclear power plant that just went out of business by my house because of crypto? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't know if I mentioned this last week. Uh, what happened was they have a nu nuclear power plant supplying energy for the area, doing good, okay. successful business, been there for decades. They decide, oh, we're, we're going to bring the area to the next level. We're going to bring it to the 21st century with uh, crypto. They decided that they were going to build a Bitcoin mine right next to the nuclear power no. plant and they just invested all this money over paying for graphics cards and all that stuff and then the market just <laughs> went bust and then uh they lost all the money and then they went bankrupt because of it i love that story so much so they had a profitable business and these idiots got suckered by somebody into creating a, a, a crypto mining scheme and uh they they went they you went know out how people are always like cryptocurrency can cause negative effects to the environment isn't nuclear yeah. like pretty clean energy so... it's pretty clean that's that was their logic oh it's clean <laughs> all of this is going fuck? to be farmed with clean energy Wait, so is your, uh, are your electricity bills higher now because of that uh the power plant never shut down i don't believe ah, okay so i think i just got bought the, out by somebody else the prices are fine but i've heard that they're going to end up going up because <laughs> okay. of these idiots and their, <laughs> their scheme bro they went up where i'm at yeah the price but I, they, they went up where i'm at where like the computer stuff is so weird like you okay so uh about a year ago when i was building my new computer I had to go to the like the the store because I, I don't buy this shit online like I just go to the store in person and like make the order. Um, so the store that I go to like they changed because of the crypto guys like they started putting these like 1500 watt PSUs like just sitting over here. And I'm like, 
why the fuck would you need that? He's like, oh yeah, there's a lot of crypto people that just buy graphic cards and make like mining rigs. I'm like, that that's still profitable. Like what? Yeah. Who the fuck is doing it that? Is. I, I a cousin of mine is doing it just basically to see if it works. <laughs> yeah. And yes, it does. It makes a couple of bucks a day. It just okay. well to be fair. Now's the time to buy the stuff when it's available rather than jumping in after the Yeah, yeah. The yeah you don't want to buy during a moon, for sure. Oh, pardon like, me, not my never... cousin, my my uncle's kid. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, it uh, Am I missing the joke? Yeah, no, I keep saying my aunt's kids and he's like they're your cousins. <laughs> not, they're like actually generationally different than me, okay? They're like fucking different, all right? Christ. Okay, they're okay. the ones into crypto. They're talking about NFT. Dude, I was in my car with like my aunts. I was in my they were like sitting in the back. Okay, I'm just driving around. Okay, so to understand this real, these are two children, okay? They're two yep. kids, right? And I'm the adult in the situation. I'm like, I'm the I'm the grown man, all right, the the angry old man who's pissed off at the world. And they're in the back of my car and, and, and I'm just talking about like what 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 have you been talking about at school, son? What's been going on there, kiddo? And they're like, have you heard of NFTs? Like these things going on? I'm like, oh man. <laughs> like I'm in, I'm in the front of my car. Like I'm just, I'm like, I'm like having fucking, I'm just, what about, I, I've, I've your, heard your about kids NFTs. These sure. days, Wait, how, how old are I know, they? dude, I was, they're, they're in like, uh, they're in like, their tweens. And they're already they're talking like about there. NFTs. <laughs> Yeah, because I guess it's in the school. Like they see it from their favorite influencers yeah, and everything, dude, and they're I, like, "This I is met how you get rich." I met up with some cousins, and they were basically talking about how. Um, yeah, I don't really like Andrew Tate. He's he's too mainstream. Tristan Tate's way cooler, and I'm like, ah, no, I'm like, oh. <laughs> no, no. I've had that. I've had that too with like my oh, my aunt's kids as well. No. They've mentioned the Tates to me, and I'm like, they're they're like they they're like, have you talked to Andrew Tate? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, no, 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 son. I'm not, not at all. Not even close. I get, I don't know, man. It, it, it really pains me dealing with like the youth of today. Like, I feel like such an older fucking man now because of this nonsense. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it, it, it's funny because they talk about like crypto shit, and it's like, uh, are you gonna make millions through? Crypto? Have you, have you made millions through crypto? And I'm like, did you buy Bitcoin? I'm like, oh. Oh, like I want to die. <laughs> like this part, like, like I'm literally like as they're talking, I'm like just looking at oncoming traffic. I'm like, oh man, oh man, yeah, it could this, all this would really <laughs> save me an awkward conversation. Now. No, it was, a, it was yeah. just, it was not like it was not a, it was not a worthwhile situation. I mean, kids are in some fucking crazy shit, especially into the crypto nonsense. And it's, it, I don't know, it's isn't the crypto stuff over though in terms of the the NFT market is just NFT dead. market's dead, but I'm sure influencers will revive it. Okay, like they'll bring it back. I don't for know. Another round just one you know, final Bitcoin. Push. The, the cryptocurrencies will go up and down because there's the value in, yeah. you know, if you're doing something illegal, you need crypto to buy it. <laughs> That's the most efficient way to do it. So that, that has a market. No. There's a reason for that existing. But for NFTs, there's literally no reason for them whatsoever. No, bro. This is just going to be the new world currency. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, bro. I was reading on Facebook. All, okay? Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, like, okay. The thing with the Bitcoin. How are you going to buy stake with, like, in the metaverse? Shit. Well, here's Big the thing. Points. If you're going to get into, like, coins, right? Like, you have to be able to... The only way that it's going to get normal and, like, the only way that you're ever going to use it is, like, every store, like... Like, if it becomes easy to use it, you know? Like, I like I think, like, two weeks ago... Yeah, it must have been two weeks ago that I bought, like, a game through Bitcoin, right? Like, it was some somebody on, like, stream recommended this, like, space game. And I was like, oh, cool. I'll go to their website. And so on their website, it was, like... It was this, like, literal 1990s-looking website. Here, I'll show you guys the fuck it looks like it like literally it's like a silk road looking website no but like so I'm, I'm gonna show you guys what it is hold on i'm gonna i'm gonna screen share it so when i saw this i thought chat was trying to get my fucking credit card details for a minute like i was about to get like all scammed if you will so this game's great by the way i fucking love this so this is the yes i'm using microsoft bing so this is the website right it looks it looks okay. a little like so so you so you look at it okay get get gets better so you go to the buy page Okay, pre-order now. All right, this is a 2022 website, bruh. This shit looks like it's from 1999, like early 2000s, like fucking payment processor. And so I like looked around. I'm like, I saw the credit card. I'm like, uh-uh. Like, and then they're like Dollar General CVS. I'm like, I don't know. And then I saw paying crypto. I'm like, this might seem cool. Like, we'll go with this one. Bro, they have a mailing and fax link here too. Like, they should just tell you that you're in some fucking... 
<laughs> so I, I anyways like i thought it was like kind of a scam thing at first and then i ended up paying for it. but that was like the last payment point is paying with crypto it's like you can't just go into a store and buy shit with it you can't really like unless they're like the platform specifically allows it which not many do what's the point of like getting into it unless you're you know the, buying illegal shit the thing is buying in cryptocurrency it, it's not a stable currency so you can't risk a business no. on accepting it because you could take it you could sell someone a lamborghini one day for two hundred thousand dollars and the next day that the market tanks now you're left with a hundred and twenty thousand dollars and you lost money on that lamborghini and that sale because you didn't you know just swap it out for real no. currency yet in time yeah because it wasn't so, the right and, 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 you, you can also double your money See, now, that, now that's the gambler mindset. No, I love it's that. Not. It's not. It's a pyramid scheme. Like, you're literally yeah. defining a pyramid scheme. If you could scam five people before they catch on, and they could scam five people before they catch on, someone will be left holding the bag eventually. You just have to you have to cash out that crypto before it, people realize it's worthless. Yeah, get on the grind, Art. It's, it's more of a Ponzi scheme now that you think about it. It's more of a Bernie Madoff style operation. Well, the, the thing, the thing about it is like, so, you know, and a lot of, so I, I spent the better part of this year and last year just reading crypto lawsuits, right? Like just literally reading court dockets and the wording between all of them are the same, right? Cause it's like a lot of these influencers promote these products and the whole goal is not to make a successful product. It's just to get a, a flow of people moving in, right? Like without having a flow of people coming in and throwing their pennies at it, it just all tanks, right? Like, it's the same with any fucking type of currency, right? Like, they go reach the influencers, they go talk to Jake Paul, fucking Soldier Boy, all that shit. They just get them to drag in a few thousand people, and that'll work for a little bit. But after a while, the house of cards, like any Ponzi, or like any scheme like this, it all just comes crashing down. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, the people that are jumping into it, like, fucking... I feel like influencers might do one last push, but yeah, you're right. Generally, it's it's a it's a dead meme at this point. But the people that have but, scammed their audiences have made a fucking fair amount of money off of it, and it's going to be interesting to see how the government responds to at least some of the like. Here's the thing: we can laugh at Kim Kardashian, but Kim Kardashian's got lawyers for days. Okay, like ain't no she's above the system. Yeah. Fucking the Pauls, you know, Tana Manja, all these, they're not above the system, all right? If the government wants them, they'll, they'll, get, they'll get them. Like, it, it is what it Someone is. Someone at some point is going to be, and there's going to be an example made out of somebody. I don't know who yeah. it's going to be, but at some point there will be an example. They're going to throw the book at them. Uh, and if the government wants you, uh, they're going to get you. That, that, that is, besides Scientology, no one else has ever beaten the IRS before. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so are you yeah, talking I, shit I, about Scientology, dude? Bro, I'm talking Honestly, shit about Scientology. I'll have you know, Mudahar's uh, aunt's kids are big fans of Scientology. Yeah, they, they, they. they. <laughs> what if like Andrew Tate became a Scientologist? Oh, no. Bro, actually, and he, was, and, he, and he went and did debates for sci pro Scientology. He'd get people converted. I feel like Scientology should make a fucking solid investment. Honestly, true. But it depends on what kind of inform what kind of dirt they have on Andrew Tate. Like, unless they can dig out something really dirty. <laughs> I don't know if Andrew's <laughs> going to agree to that yeah, shit. Yeah, he's not going to take a sponsorship. He has unlimited financial access. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy how, like, Andrew Tate's now been, like, scrubbed off the internet. I mean, I still see him, like, fucking... I still see him trending from time to time on Twitter, but, like, generally... Yeah, like, like, interviews and stuff. Do you guys know what's like? What's his plan? Is what his plan is? Plan, I probably just bro. keep making money. And... I, I, I think it's just he's having a good time doing what he's doing. I think he has enough money at this yeah. point to, you know, if he gets banned everywhere and then he just walks away, I, I truly believe he's worth at least a hundred billion dollars from the sounds of his operation. He has seventy employees. Yeah, he's he's also got oh, like he's... casinos and everything too. So it's like again, banning him off social media doesn't do anything because his primary wealth was never generated off YouTube or anything like. He has Hustlers University, but I don't, I don't know how many people are actually signed on to that. Hustlers University is the biggest online e-commerce yeah. e e-commerce class ever made. Yeah, with the most yeah. They <sighs> he's made some. My brother did the math on this the other day. He's made some outrageous sum of money, millions upon millions upon millions of dollars. Well, because he has like thousands of actual okay. people paying fifty bucks a month to jump into that shit. Yeah. Not just that, tens of thousands yeah. apparently. Yeah, fifty bucks a month. That's insane. That's where I'm uh, like kind of wondering. Numbers. Yeah, that that's what I have to ask. That's yeah. so, who knows. I, I wouldn't doubt it though, because you have to think about it. Andrew Tate was the biggest person on the internet for uh, 
for no, a few months. He might still be. No. <clears throat> but before they banned him, he was the big he he was beating out Kim Kardashian in searches online. So if you're thinking that that's how much influence yeah, he had, and then he was going around shilling Hustlers University to all these kids saying, why go to college and spend $100,000 on a degree when you could pay me $50 a and month make, and make get more, more out of it? That's a pretty good sell. A lot of people yeah. will fall for that. And if you're able to convince you know, a couple tens of thousands of people to but do it, was collaborating that with is like a people lot of like money. Aiden Ross and just basically hijacking their massive audiences and selling shit. <laughs> yeah, and like, like it was a win-win, right? They, they got yeah. this really famous up-and-coming big guy, big name on their stream to drive attention to their stream, and he would tap into a new audience. Audience. like it was a yeah. symbiotic relationship for i sure. gotta i gotta be honest when andrew tate talks about oh i have this war room where like all the big shots hang out I, in back of my mind i'm like i kind of want to get in on that war room see what that's about I was, like even i, I, was, I, I being... was yeah like i think psychologically because when i saw that on his website i i was about to pay the grand or whatever the fuck it was to see the war room because i was like who the fuck is in this because because I was just like, man, like, I want to give him, like, like it's a chunk of money, but, like, at the same time, it's like, is it really it's a tax a ch- write-off? Yeah, it's a tax write-off. But, I, but in my head, I'm like, if this is actually a room filled with some of the biggest people, like, is it really a chunk of money? Or is it just, like, a smart, you know, like, buy ones? But then I'm like, wait, it's Andrew Tate. It's get, you snap out. Fuck, of course nobody's in the... It's just a bunch of other fucks like me that fell for the meme. No. I believe Oopaville was invited to the war room when he interviewed Andrew Tate. And he was also invited and to Romania. And that's why he's no longer on the podcast, guys. That was a joke. That was a joke. He's no, still around. No, he's no, just no. Busy this week. No, the uh, the the war room shit was really, really like. Uh, I know that like so. I, I think he just invites anybody to Romania that's like friendly with him. But um, I don't know. I don't know if I'd be willing. Has to anyone taken him up on the offer though? I think Sneeko did. He got his account <laughs> fucking removed. <laughs> Honestly, if he invited me to Romania, I'd be tempted to make a video of just uh, bring a cameraman with me, hang out with Andrew Tate for a week, and then yeah, you know, I'd, edit I'd be it down. down to see yeah, that. free content. Uh, that'd be a pretty interesting video. I mean, what are people gonna do? Bitch at you for platforming him? Like, <laughs> dog, I'm just here to like see the see the Tate lifestyle for a little minute. You can go and play chess with him, dude. That'd be a fucking interesting thing. Oh. It's like, did you get anything? Let me see if this is actual. Let me see if your thoughts on genetics are actually true. Well, no, fucking... what I do is I, I bring Nick Fuentes with oh, me. Oh, God. <laughs> and Destiny. They, be... they have a falling out, though, from what it seems. They're not oh, they're, they're not the good friends. Yeah, because apparently, like, uh, Nick Fuentes got, like, some account where, like, one of his friends banned off YouTube with, like, false reporting. Oh, so, Mr. Girl? Yeah, which, um, you know, it's like fucking, it, it's, I, again, I don't know, like, the real validity on that. I don't care to, like, really look into it. But, like, yeah, that's one of the, that's why you don't really see them together all that much anymore. Did you guys, so wait, before we, before now that we mentioned Destiny, so I was watching some of his streams where he was, like, outside TwitchCon because he's banned and he can't go into it. That's hilarious. Bro, I didn't realize How that. about that girl that jumped <sighs> the fucking pit? Yeah! Yes. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Something. So, Poor girl. Liability. So it's funny because like you jump into it. So first off, the comment sections, I want to address it real quick. A lot of people like shit on me because I didn't know who the fuck this girl was. I actually genuinely didn't. Yeah. They're like, how do you not know this like top 10 porn star? I'm like, listen, I only know porn stars. Okay. Ron Jeremy and Johnny Sins. Like you start asking <laughs> me anything beyond that. I, I have no fucking idea. Okay. Ron Jeremy, we all know because that motherfucker has been in everything. Okay. My dad probably knows who he is. Johnny Sins because... He just worked every job under the sun, okay? That man's an astronaut, a plumber, a, a hitman, everything, okay? Like, there's not a job that that man has not best resume I've seen. So, anyways, like, I saw her name. I think it was, like, a- Adriana Chechik, yeah? that's. Uh, and so I'm like, yeah. oh, it's probably some Russian streamer. So I Google her, and I'm like, oh, fuck, okay. All right. <laughs> what she, how'd she get, what's she doing on Twitch? <laughs> so I go on a Twitch, right? And I look at I look at the whole thing. She's, like, a regular streamer. I think she plays, like, Fortnite or some game or whatever. Um, Like, everybody. Uh, and then, so she's the one that, for, for everybody watching, she's the one that did the fucking ass dive. Like, sure, her tailbone hits the ground in this pill. So, I'll explain this bit. It is a, it, it is literally the floor with, like, maybe a layering of some shitty foam, okay? Wished Concrete foam. floor with two feet of foam cubes. Yeah. And before we continue, this is a collaborative booth by Intel and lenovo this is not like this is not some fucking rinky dinky small time fucking organization this is a billion dollar corporation another billion dollar corporation hosting an event that's run by another billion dollar corporation so they are 
three billion dollar corporation that play this yeah, fucking it's funny. degree. It's funny. I feel like they got less flack for this than Tanacon got, and that just boggles my mind. Yeah, like it, it's really surprising. You're right. So Tanacon was run by like three idiots. Okay, and obviously they deserve all the all the flack they got. They the got criticism. For all the criticism was completely warranted. But like, come on, They're like, what's going on here? Yeah, this is just insanity. So they had like a concrete floor, some wish.com foam. And <laughs> so first off, I want to say this for the record. Okay, this is where I get into personal wish. responsibility. Com. Okay, this is where I get into the personal responsibility. She walked out before she stepped on the platform. She knew that the the texture and the, and the roughness of the floor. <laughs> Right. So, well, she she knew a little bit, but at the honestly, same time, her like being an idiot doesn't exempt Twitch. It doesn't exempt gross negligence, which yeah. is exactly what I wanted to do because everyone was like, she signed a waiver, right? So she can't sue. I'm like, I don't know, because like waivers don't like excuse gross negligence. You know, like yes. they might like this is very <laughs> clearly gross because it's like a pit should be like <laughs> seven to eight feet deep, you know fucking foam in it or like ball pit or like something to break a ball it's like it's the most they didn't it's do the that. most twitter like anonymous twitter glasses pusher mindset ever it's like well yes you did hit them with a car but they did sign a waiver so i mean yeah <laughs> it's like it's, like, it, it, it's funny because like in the in the clip one of the guys like oh she's fine i'm like, like that dude dog, the dude my- agreed to collab with uh what's his name david dobrik i mean he may have thrown him around with like a wrecking ball what was that that story with the machine? It was, the it was like a yeah, it was like some tractor. The guy tractor, was on like he, I think he was hanging Jeff, on the end Jeff of and it was Wittick, like was that his name? Yeah, he picks him up and he throws him. He hurls him. Well, he agreed to be in the collab. <laughs> Did and the thing is that she was this not the first person to get injured in that thing. Multiple people were injured. There was another no. woman that broke her leg or something she when she jumped her off her knee, left. which Dis- could yeah, be an amputation, like at worst. Yeah, and, and then. There's also another clip of one of the people at the booth uh, narrating the event and people trying to hit each other off. And they said, dive right into the foam. That's what the guy said. So I think that word right there, a person encouraging people to dive in, is going to be the the thing that's just, they're going to be like, let's settle this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. she's going to get a fair chunk. Now, now that I've seen the gross negligence, part of me wishes I flew to San Diego and just did a little dive. Maybe not break. My fucking no. See, what, I, like, what I was laughing no. about was uh, that Twitch hiring all these big names to be part of TwitchCon literally no. came right after Twitch saying, we can't afford to pay streamers. Yeah. We're good. That was the other thing. They they paid Megan V. Stallion to show up to the event and sing a couple songs and twerk with Master Chief on the stage. They paid her at least $200,000 to do that. And like, meanwhile, they say, "Oh, creators, yeah, we, we can't afford to pay we you the pay. money that we, we were." We are merely Amazon, a small indie company. Yeah, absolutely. What does Amazon do? Fucking tiny ass fucking people out there. Online don't library. Quote, yeah. Don't quote me on this, but I've heard a rumor that YouTube might buy Twitch off Amazon. Ooh. Yeah, but can they legally do that? I don't know because uh, that be would trigger so many. Yeah, that would trigger like, a fucking monopoly law on Google. Like the, they're already fucking being watched for that. I mean, it'd be I, fucking sick of true. It makes sense. Yeah. yeah, it'd be hilarious. But it's like then the market could be like, wait, what other live streaming service exists? A mixer is already dead. It'll be meta. Facebook. Meta live streaming yeah, is not meta a thing. Live streaming. <laughs> it is. Fa- yeah, Facebook so, gaming, bro. Facebook gaming. You know what be? You know would be kind of like weirdly interesting. It's like imagine like fucking bite dance or like ten cent just like fucking decided to throw their money around and buy it. Like it would become like a TikTok wing arm of like live streaming TikTok live. yeah or like or like some like chinese affiliated live streaming service I like, like I mean, TikTok that would probably is doing be. so well right now i don't know why they would buy twitch no i mean like another chinese company more? jumping in and buying it it doesn't have to be like bite dance it could be right. like tencent or any of the other big ones the <laughs> genshin impact I, I, twitch. if that happens i could definitely envision twitch streamers shilling for the chinese government oh my god that no. would be hilarious could you, yeah. Could you imagine what'll happen to like Hassan Piker when he's like Dude. when like the word Taiwan comes in? He's like, "All right, chat, we're gonna ignore that and just go into." <laughs> Did you guys see what happened? With, like, That's Hassan, the day like, Hassan, Hassan Piker starts it, playing it, slots. It's, it's gonna be like Wings of Redemption. Mods, ban anyone who's saying Taiwan in the chat. Mods, 
I want free Hong Kong gone. Okay, I don't want to see that anymore in chat. No, but Real talk. Have you have you seen the have you seen the Hassan meme? Where, like fucking. So he was at like the TwitchCon and like all these people came up and asked him about the whole like Sam Hyde. Trip. Yeah, I saw that and he freaked like, out. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, like the thing is, I can understand that because it's like obviously the questions were asked in a way that were like definitely trying to bait out a response. Yeah. But I'm like, you're a big streamer. You should have just been like, Nah, bro, it's not happening. Goodbye. Like, I, I mean, I'll be it, honest. A lot I feel of ways like he could really fight back if he wasn't so offended by it. Like he's he feel it seems yeah. like he's personally yes. offended. Like if someone would have yeah. said, yeah. "Are you gonna box Sam Hyde?" and he would have just said, "Who?" Like that would have destroyed him. Like, it would have obliterated yeah, exactly. him. Well, like, it would have been over. But the, I mean, I, I see it from both sides. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, you know, Hassan's horrible in this situation. is not handling, handling it well. <laughs> so, uh, Sam Hyde literally said, I'm going to come to your house and kill to, you. To quote, to quote Sam Hyde, <laughs> I am coming to kill you in Los Angeles, California, in your house. <laughs> you mean in the ring? <laughs> no, in real life. <laughs> And the, the genius thing about that is like, that oh. he said that in England, and then he flew back to the U.S. So England can't arrest him, and the U.S. can't arrest him for it because he didn't say it in the States. So now he just got away with threatening to murder a public figure. Yeah. Okay, I don't know about that. You, you <laughs> think the U.S. can't arrest someone if they threaten to murder a public figure in a different country? They would have to extradite him to the that other country. He didn't do it no in the United States. Way. so he. Yeah, yeah. They, would, they would have the the U.S. government would have to have him extradited back to Are you Europe serious? to face charges. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was just his character. So, anyways. Yeah, dude, he was just memeing, bro. No, I, know, I know he was yeah. just but, memeing. I'm not saying he should be convicted. Obviously, I it was just a joke. But there's no way that someone could threaten to murder a public figure in another country and not not get away with it and not get in trouble. Both governments would have to care enough to collaborate yeah. to bring justice really? to I'm the so case, surprised. and that's not going to happen here. So if he said that in the U.S., he probably might have dealt with some consequences, even if it's just the government or like some police force looking into the matter. Um, but since he did it in one country, by the time anyone there figured it out, he was already back in the United States. Mm -hmm. He kind of did a little loophole to be able to threaten to murder Hassan Piker and get away with it. <laughs> it's just like he could easily. I feel, I feel like with Hassan, line. it's like he could just he could just like he could have walked away with that and 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 dealt with it. It's like the iDub situation, man. Like when iDub's got like really angry about like the whole like audience getting mad about his relationship i'm like what do you expect when like you've made like how many like you spent a whole year like fucking talking shit about this group of people and then suddenly you know your significant other is that group of people right like online sex worker and then like your audience like how do you expect that like there's so many easy ways you could have like laughed it off and moved on and then be done but like when you take it personally and let people know that you've taken it personally that then they're just gonna keep doing that i'm and that's telling why you it's it's the same idea if when idub showed up to tanamogo or whatever to her concert mm. and uh he said the n-word and she if she would have just I think he even says this in his video. If she would have looked at him and said, wow, that really wasn't funny. Like, she would have destroyed him. Like, it's yeah. so yeah. easy. If you just can maintain your composure a little bit, you could destroy all these people that are just... Because he's just trying to get under his skin, right? That's that's all yeah. that Sam Hyde is trying to do. And it's working. He's winning. Well, Sam Hyde's just trying to entertain himself. I think that's kind of the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. He'll he'll burn any bridges he needs to to just uh, to have a laugh, get a laugh for himself, and it's for himself. That's there's people like Sam Hyde or you know Andy Kaufman back in the day, rest in peace, who they only cared about their own entertainment. And if you so happen to find it funny too, that was just kind of icing on the cake for them. And I think that's why uh, you know Sam Hyde gets a lot of respect online. Yeah, he's just doing his own thing, and that's pretty much all it comes down to. Like, he's not there to, like, he's not there to be the monkey for you, you know? He's, like, mm -hmm. there to just fucking be there for himself. But, like, with fucking just, I don't know, with, like, the whole TwitchCon, like, the way that, like, Hassan acted, and it's just, like, like the way that Hassan was, like, because people, because the thing is, like, he was giving clips on the internet, right? Like, these clips were going to end up on LSF or, like, just shared around, and that was it. Like, it just, it just feeds back into the machine, right? Like, you're right. If you just kept your composure, and it's, like, if you if you did, like, a who, you know what I mean? Like, why? Yeah. What? Like, would have, like, been done. Like, you know, because then, because then, because then the whole post would have been different. It would have been like, how does, how does Hassan not know who Sam is? No, like, they, they would know that he was joking, but yeah, 
it, it basically completely invalidates. It's like, he's so irrelevant for me. Why would I even entertain this idea? I don't even care about these things that he says, and that would destroy it. But And also, he called out those people and, like, berated them for making the common in person. The only reason he did that is because they were much smaller than him. Uh, okay. Yeah, if, if it was some person like that was six foot five and like jacked went up and told told yeah if if I walked in and I said that he would have a different reaction to me than he did with just like some random short guy that comes up and makes the joke. No, he's like it's 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 wild watching that side of the internet, man. The, the the thing about like even Twitch, it's like have we have we all just forgotten like all of a sudden that there was a massive like like cover up. Like there was like, there was that shit going on, and like all of a sudden after three weeks, we just forgot that it was even a. Th- Miskip is back. Yeah, like sixty thousand people. He made streaming. a joke about it on his first stream. I didn't see it. I didn't see a stream. What? He made like a little comment about like, oh, I I know all about covering up stuff or something oh. along those lines. Don't quote oh. me on it. It was just something like a little comment. Then he kind of backtracked immediately. Oh, that is that is. That is yeah, then they say, like, yeah, I'm an expert. I've been doing it for the past four years or something. Yeah, so, uh, something along those lines. Uh, <laughs> oh, I didn't see. Oh, God, this was just ugly. This is such an ugly yeah. situation. It is. It's not just an ugly situation. It's, like, wild how it got brought up and then just suddenly, like, slept, swept under the rug. Like, all the streamers, like, their fucking programming turned off or, like, the next day they got reset. And it's I like, feel like they just they felt like it wouldn't be beneficial for them to continue the drama monetarily. And they were like, yeah. all right, so let's just not continue the drama then. I still feel like Twitch owes an explanation or, like, an investigation on their own platform. Like, if some of your top users are, like, involved in shit like this, like, maybe it's time to, like, dig deep a little bit before you're potentially, like, thrown into liability or some bullshit, you know? Or, like, your I don't know, like, something gets back onto you. It's just, I don't know, t- t- Twitch, Twitch needed to have done something on it. It was just a wild scenario. Fucking, I don't know streamers to me like after like the last three weeks have all appeared like high school like clicky like people to me yeah. and it's just not my thing well they all live in houses with one another i mean you for never me it was high school YouTube and clicky house. for the longest no. time i mean i my brush with streamers when i got canceled was just and everyone just pops out they're like oh i always knew nux was a terrible person you know it's like they were all <laughs> on it people have said Instantly. that about me i always knew that about him it's like and uh, then, you know, once you validate what you were saying and prove that you weren't actually lying about anything and you were in the right, then you got people trickling out. Let, let's just make believe this didn't happen. Let's just uh, publicly apologize to each other and we'll just move on like nothing happened. Well, the silver lining of that is now you have a mental picture of every single person who threw you under the bus when it was convenient for them to do so. And, you know, uh, ne- never work with them again. I'm telling you, I, I've said this. I've said this to people in private. Um, for me, the best thing about the drama was that you really learn who your friends are and who's just really fake. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've learned whenever there's stuff going on drama, I just keep my mouth shut. I don't say anything to anyone. People will come to me behind the scenes. <clears throat> hey, have you seen what this YouTuber did? I'm getting involved. You should like make something. And I, my response every time is, "Listen, man, I'm over here. I'm busy. I'm making money. Like, I, I don't know anything about this. I just that's a, that's my that's standard literally response. Exactly to all this what stuff. I write to. They're like, fucking. What do you what do you think about this? I'm like, what do I think about what? What? No. It's like, listen, <laughs> I'm, I'm too busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, my my thing is like even like it's more colder than that. It's like oh, like you know that meme. It's like oh man, I feel really bad for you. I'm sorry that happened to you. All right, bye now. <laughs> right. No, no, it's like I, I I don't have time to read all this, but I'm really happy yeah. for you. Or sorry that happened. Whichever one. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like... yeah. <laughs> Whichever one's applicable to this. All right, bye now. I gotta go out of here because some people. The thing about like even streamer culture is like motherfuckers. Like there's a lot of loose. Uh, there, there's a lot of DM sharing that goes around there. Like, motherfuckers will hold on to it like Yu-Gi-Oh trap cards, you know? Dude, like when the time thank is fucking God right. for that, though. If I didn't hold on <sighs> to every DM I had, I would have been toast. Like, I get it, because everyone's terrified yeah. that the next person is just going to blackmail them. It's like all these people are only your friends because you can make money being friends. And if you're not yeah. making money being friends, then there's, like, no use for you. It's such a toxic environment. It's unbelievable. It's like every DM that I ever have is like, so, you know, like, I think people get like a weird, like, idea, like, sometimes when I'm like on the internet, right? Like, where I'm like, I can, 
like i'm very open about it like i guess i can say like even amongst like my friends here like if you look at our like slacks and discord like just even our like you know podcast discord i'll be like very frank and like upfront like you know laid back but when it comes to talking to somebody i just don't know it is the most corporate professional messaging you will ever fucking yep. read i'm like yep I'm every like, time yes, hello every like, time fucking, like I, I just I, you can't I can't trust a- anybody on the internet. Like it's just not something that like you know it's it's not like if you just meet me on the internet, right? And you want to be like friendly with me, like we're fucking at a bar. It's like how does that work? Like I don't even know who you are in real life. You just started talking to me. Like I, I'm like I'm not gonna fucking trust you with like secrets or really anything or like you know just. Yeah, I've had people or, or asking me, you... like, what what did really happen with your drama? And I'm like, I don't know you at all. Like, you're just going to tell the next person that I, like, I'm sorry, man. I have nothing against you, but I don't know you. Yeah. I think the, the biggest secret to, secret to staying out of the drama is just don't get involved in groups. Deal with people on individual okay, basis. On one. the one mm-hmm. hand, that's good. But on the other, first of all, I, I do agree with you. But on the other hand dealing with groups is very beneficial. Like a lot of streamers blew up because they collab with OTK. Right. Mm -hmm. So if this is a career, uh, you want to grow, you could work with groups, but you kind of try to keep it where you're individually messaging people. You could, every person of that group I talk to, but I just talk to each one of them separately. I compartmentalize everybody. So I talk with a hundred different YouTubers, but each one's individual yeah. chats. I don't, ha- I don't throw everybody yeah. into a group yeah. and then say, let's all talk about this because drama always goes down. Um, I, I'm in this recently, uh, and this, there's also a lot of this Twitter DM by association, right? Yeah. Like, um, there, yeah, there's this Twitter DM chat that I'm in. Um, it was for VidCon 2022 months ago during the middle of the summer, we had this chat and it was like, Oh, come here to like, we're going all going to this bar to hang out. And then that was the end of it. Recently, there's just like some randoms in it, like bringing up all this drama and say, I, I called out this person. It's like, Oh, I left people? that group chat. It's the most toxic shit in the world, dude. It's, that's what happens is you you have YouTubers that are, I mean, they have businesses, they're here to, you know, work with other people, get stuff done, make good content. And then there's these bottom feeders that they don't actually benefit anyone. They're, they're not making any content. They're just there to be part of the community and they don't actually make videos and they're just there to so cause it's drama. Funny because and I just like, you don't involve yourself like with those people. It sounds like such a toxic way to describe these things, but you're actually completely accurate. And I know exactly what mm-hmm. you're talking about. Like there, all the discords where you have YouTubers with like you know very small amount of subs and don't make videos but they they talk about every other person's videos yeah you that's their I mean? entire shtick like yeah. all they do is yep. just talk about drama i mean and my... like i have people dm me and talk talking shit about people that let's say hate on me and i bet you any money the same person dms them to talk shit on me like it's it's the same these people, a lot of people don't have any, like, conviction, per se. They just play both sides of the fence until they see their opportunity. Yeah. yeah they're just waiting for the time to fucking strike, I guess. that That's where it is. No, like, even amongst, like, a lot of these groups, it's like, there's so much, like, DM sharing. There's so much, like, fucking willing, like, backstabbing that goes on. And it's like, I dude, never I, at send the end of the day, a DM. Unless it's, like, to my friends, like, you know, to you guys. But, like, I would never yeah. send a DM without rereading it first and thinking to myself, could this possibly be screenshotted and taken out of context? I think of it exactly. every single time. Damn. Yeah. No, it's, it, it, like... It's actually terrifying, it, and I hate it. It's yeah, sad, it's, it's, your it's so sad, but it is my <laughs> yeah. reality now. Yeah, like, it... it what were we going to say, Sam? Yeah, it's sad, but that's, uh, that's his reality. I mean, in a, in a perfect gotcha. world... As long as you're like honest and genuine to everyone, unless you're a shitty person, of course, and you maybe deserve to be cancelled. But I mean, if you're a good, honest, genuine person, I I don't see how you could get into drama. But I mean, that's obviously not uh, the world. It's, even with social media, it's like sometimes you make a statement and people like look at that and like treat it the most like awkward, like opposite way ever. And it's just like yeah. sometimes it's just better to not even get into that. Or like even when you're talking to people, it's like. I don't, it's 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 like you wish that this platform would be like more like collaborative like orient like it is but you'd, you'd wish that you could communicate with people without like fears of like this crazy backstabbery like discount game of thrones happening all the time <laughs> yeah. but you, ju- you just can't like you literally like everyone's in their like 
areas. And this is where like, I always feel like I'm really detached from the community because I've never been in like a content house. I've never been like yeah, me neither. actively collaborating with somebody. Like I've been like, I've had the offer where it's like, hey, you want to come and like live in a place with us in like California? I'm like, no, no, not at all. Not even <laughs> close to that. I'm like, I, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Has there ever been one of those YouTuber or Twitch streamer houses where there's never – it never ended up with an abuse allegation? No. They always end up with someone getting, you know, essay Or at there, least an allegation uh, of it some happening way. somehow. Or friendships yes. well, that's being my destroyed point. and then you need a – because here's the thing with a lot of streamers also. I don't know how this podcast got derailed into talking about like the, the dark social lives of streamers. and But I love it. Anyway, so whenever people have some <laughs> – Let's say there's a falling out. You just don't like this person anymore. And you just stop collabing yeah. with them. Your audience feels like they need to know why you don't like this person. Did this person rape somebody? Is that why you don't like this person? And then there, are, there's so much pressure from the audience. And you can't open your subreddit. Like, everyone reacts to their subreddit on stream. But somewhere on the subreddit, there's going to be an image of, let's say, why don't you and John collab anymore? And then on the stream, you say, oh. well, we, don't, we just don't get along. And then the theories start to spread. And it's horrible. I, I have another question. Has there ever been a YouTuber or streamer subreddit that didn't turn on them <laughs> at some point? I feel like PewDiePie's, <laughs> believe it or not. Maybe. I mean, like, everyone's going to have, like, a bit of... I mean, what do you mean, like, turn? Like, completely, like, derail and, like, say, fuck this stream. I, I always see this happen with streamer subreddits. I, I don't have, like, a bunch of, uh, you know, yeah, examples yeah. Yeah, off the top I, of like my head Poseidon right now. Like, I and all but, those people, yeah. Yeah, I see it where they make the subreddit, the YouTuber promotes it, it gets big, and at some point, the subreddit turns on them. It just happens, like, clockwork every single time. Uh, that's why I don't. I, I guess there's a subreddit for me, but it's it's not active at all. I just uh, I, I, I'm happy with that uh, because on, on Reddit it always seems like at some point it's just like clockwork. It's cyclical. They like you, then you do something. Someone there makes a post that gets a bunch of upvotes, and then they turn on you, and then it becomes a hate subreddit for a while, and then hopefully it comes back around, and then they like you again. Does Mister yeah. have a subreddit? Probably. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Miss Miss Kiff is like one of those guys where like I'm just I just don't really care at all like about the look at look, like look up anything about it. So it's just when it comes to like OTK, the only one that ever mattered to me on that was like Asmund Gold, and that's about it. Like other than that, I was just like I don't really give a shit about anybody else here. I don't know. I'm friends so, like, with like Schlatt and Tectone. Oh yeah, Schlatt and Tectone are. Cool. But I, I don't no, know. No, I was talking about like like I don't know like Miss Kiff because is Miss Kiff the owner of it? Like he's he's well, one of the owners. Anymore. One of the owners. Okay. Yeah, I don't know anymore, considering what just happened. Well, he stepped yeah, back like, from his managerial duties, but he owns it. So, like, I mean, yeah. he's still making money through it. I... Yeah, no, it's, it, it, it's wild with Miskiff. It's like, I was just never into it. Yeah, he, he, they all have subreddits. I think, like, the, the one subreddit that carries all of them is, like, LSF, though, like, live stream fails. As mm -hmm. much as you want to hate on LSF, that's the biggest source of, like, yeah, fucking, like, if you're... Twitch. Yeah, like, if you're trending on it, like, I think that's literally how, like, XQC just, like, blew up, because that's the first time I ever heard of, like, anything XQC-related. It was just, like, LSF. Like, it, it was, like, the X, it was yep. like our XQC for a fucking while, because that was he's the only one that was on the post there. W w what's the name of that guy that set off fireworks in his room? Uh, Shit, I forgot, but I remember what you're talking about. Oh, um... But that guy's blown yeah, up, speed. like, crazy recently, speed. and all he... All he does is come up with a game plan for like, I'm going to have a nice one minute long clip that I know they're going to clip and put on live stream fails for me. And he's just, he gets so many views now. And I think it's completely to do with live stream yeah. fails blowing him up. I well, don't like, know. I'm not sure. Anytime I feel I've like ever... he, he really gets pushed by YouTube somehow. He He's the biggest streamer on YouTube. He even he's beat very Steven energy. Crowder. Unbelievable. No, he's like he's just... well. Steven Crowder I, is joking. a different animal. He makes like a well scripted yeah, show yeah, yeah. once a week or so. Yeah. This guy is like he's super high energy, like showing Minecraft dick on stream. Yeah, I'm like, hey. he showed that. <laughs> Did, what? He he made us uh, he made a stream where he downloaded some viruses onto his computer, and it's clearly just he has a a virtual machine uh, that he's on because there's like no folders or anything on the yeah. desktop. But he sits there and he acts like, oh, let me install this. I don't know what's gonna happen, and then he just has. A mental breakdown when the, the PC gets so fried. At, uh, like, uh, acting. Yeah, he's really yeah. good. He's really entertaining. 
No, he's like he's like he's he's like he, I think he's even underage. Like he's under eighteen. Like just doing this. Uh, but he's playing so <laughs> fast and loose with the community guidelines that I think he's on like his second strike or some shit. Like if he gets one more, it's like game fucking over, kid. Like you're out. Yeah, living on the edge. Yeah, I mean maybe that's like what people are there for. Like I remember when I saw like the because you're right. It, it's all like it's his twelve hour stream for that one minute clip that gets blown around. And you are right. That one minute clip does get blown up because I remember like okay. Yeah, like the swatting. I think like somebody did swat yeah, him. Which, he got yeah, he That's not yeah, that that's not him organizing it. That's like some piece of shit trolling him. No. But then like the one clip that he definitely organized was like the Minecraft like sex. Like he showed literally like a sex mod on Minecraft, and it like got shared around. People were like, "What if kids watch this?" And I'm like, "Man, I'll be real. When I was that age, I've seen way fucking worse than <laughs> Minecraft. So I'm just gonna be honest here." <laughs> like if i ended up this way i'm pretty sure every, i'm I'm sure the moral moral outrage is is a little like exaggerated when he set off fireworks i'm like damn this guy's about to burn his place down he's just he's he's a wild dude it's it's him and like a few other streamers are in that special degree of so high energy that i have to debate like maybe it's not like you know you know energy drinks or something maybe it's like something 100% Colombian that may or may not be legal. <laughs> nice plug. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but it's uh, it, it's it's insanity with like fucking just some of the some of these streamers. I don't know, man. I mean, even with YouTube, it's like YouTube's finally stepping up the streaming game kind of, even though their UI is dog shit. <laughs> but uh, you know, we'll 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 see how long Twitch has. Twitch does Twitch is not doing it for for a minute. Yeah. It's been going through it, more and more Their days are shit. numbered. Days I mean, given how they're managing their company, who fucking knows, man? Well, they have Amazon bankrolling them. It's to drop in the bucket to Jeff Bezos. It so. is, but at the same time, it's um, also like if you give they'll dump yeah, it. Yeah, if you give point. Twitch the That's discount on AWS, it's still money you're eating out of it, right? Like you could just give them that to a different, like better client. Um, yeah, I, I. I th- it's kind of like Amazon Studios when they're making those Prime shows, like that Lord of the Rings thing. That didn't make the money, like spending a hundred million dollars on I that. I heard or people. I heard, I heard it was like a really shit show. Yeah, yeah I hear it's not. Yeah, great. everyone. So there, there's just money there. Where if you're making all this money from all this other stuff, and then you have this small side business where you're the number one yeah. website for live streaming, and you're just keeping that running, and it's still growing. It's kind of a thing of, let's keep that going. It doesn't really, it's, 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 it's not really it's a costing small us anything, detail. but it's just a prestige. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. prestige. And then down the line, maybe we'll figure out a way to monetize this Jeff better. And then we'll Twitch make money then. In his life. I don't know, bro. Uh, he's probably never watched a live streamer before. No, bro, he's going that. to space. Yeah. Ooh, there's a new live streamer out there. It's, it's really exciting. New live streamer. Did you hear about this? There's uh, the new generation Pokemon gym leader is a uh, live streamer. Really? What? Oh, yeah, geez. Just re- just announced like a few hours ago. Doesn't Ed Sheeran Ed have a song Sheeran in the new Pokemon game too? Yeah. Yo, is he going to be I in no the Pokemon game? Yes. He, he was in Game just, of Thrones. No, I, I feel I feel like we should be upfront with the audience. This is like a search and general warning. Anybody that's a fan of Game Freak, you need help. <laughs> this is not going to be better. Okay, you're lying to yourself. <laughs> It might be better. Than yeah, the last you're one, doing the same it. thing, Art. You're doing the same fucking thing every Why time. Why do you lie to yourself? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I I want Breath of the I want Breath of the Wild Pokemon, uh, but it's not going to happen. No, well, they tried you, to you do that. You almost had that with, with Legends Arceus. They tried. They literally tried. Yeah, but I mean, have it's... you seen, have you played Arceus Legends? It's just boring as fuck. <laughs> the, everyone says Game Freak is lazy. Uh, I I don't think they're lazy. I just think they're greedy, and then they they, they, they make too many games, and they they don't give enough time to maybe, actually maybe put Kanye in the work should to make go them Deathcon better three quality. These assholes <laughs> make them fucking do something. <laughs> well, what do you, what do you, what's the last Pokemon game you played there, Sam? The last one. Me. Yeah. Be honest. Yeah. Honestly, don't I don't take diamond. I had an emulator on my iPad in like middle school. I, that's literally the only Pokemon game I played. Wow. Uh, I Which one? Like uh, Emerald. Yeah. Okay. I, I think for me the last gen. the last Pokemon game that I enjoyed was Black and White Two. Yeah, I remember playing Black and White Two when I was in high school, uh, in class because I didn't have to do any work. 
that's that's probably my last good memory of Pokemon yeah. as well. And actually, I played X and Y. I think I, I enjoyed enjoy X, and y, X and y, even if it was too easy. The, one of the worst uh, the, games for sure. Sun and Moon. I that, I never finished it. I got a couple of hours into it, and I was so bored by the cutscenes, and there was it wasn't fun at all. And I was just like, "This is not well, enjoyable." Like well, they, 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 they lost me. Oh, they fucking eat that shit up, dude! Like, what the fuck? What no, you, for me, have it's you like, seen the pre-order? Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of haters. <laughs> they beef up the wrong areas of the game. It's like uh, we're gonna make X and Y better than before. We're gonna make each city 14 times the size, so you have no idea how to get around each city. Oh, uh, I I gotta be honest. I think if they went back to the 2D overhead style, and then they just put a lot more work into them, even if it's a simpler design it's not a 3d big world but you just really honed in that old school black and white style um ds mm -hmm. game boy uh layout and you just made it like rich with story rich with character a lot of different areas to explore make it really yeah. long make it really like that's just not, game that would be 10 like times better than what they're doing like well, yeah i feel like they'd have a much harder time marketing that they market every every they could do every both. gen is just marketed yeah. as the new it's better and how do you market better games? Why can't they just have someone? Why can't they just find some Pokemon fans at some other studio and just say, "Hey, listen, spend five years making something really incredible. The, uh, we'll get Elden that into the Ring, lineup when Pokemon. it's done." The thing yeah. with like Pokemon yeah. and shit is like, see, I, I feel like I feel like the the thing about Pokemon is like they. So the last one I played was Diamond Pearl, and you're right that a great post game, everything, all that bullshit. Nowadays, it's just like. I don't know if they want to focus more towards the original players like us, or they want to focus towards like some fucking live streamers, YouTubers who are like trying to produce. I don't know what the fuck they want, or like kids, like literally newborn it, children it, that are trying to play like their first it's, fucking video game. So I've looked into this. It's not about the video games. It's just about the entire Pokemon merchandising yeah. machine. Pokemon is the most valuable franchise of all time. It beats out Star Wars and Harry Potter and all and Marvel. It's, it's the biggest one ever. You have a tie-in anime, a tie-in card game, all of these toys, and then you have the video game. The video game has to come out at a certain point because that video game and the new Pokemon that are coming out with the new mainline game tie right, in with the next anime the series. Anime, and they have the to new prepare plushies, the anime the beforehand. New... Yeah, and then the new trading card game's coming out and they need new Pokemon for those. So you need to have the next generation out by this exact point Otherwise, everything else that they make their money off of will be backed up in the process and they won't have an anime for a season and they won't have a new trading card game. So it's forced to be on the strict budget of a new game every single year, um, have a new generation every three years, and they can't stop that train no matter what. So it's not that they're lazy. They actually work really hard. It's just that they can't sit back and breathe. Yeah. Why do we always end up fucking? But, uh, that's our Pokemon why, rant why do we for always the day? like end up going back to Pokemon in some capacity? <laughs> fuck it. You know what? That's it. I, I'm new rule boys. Let's just say fuck Pokemon. All right. In, unless this new game hits ten out of tens, we're not even gonna acknowledge it. Okay. <laughs> we, we get... <laughs> I think Pokemon is such an integral part to so many people's childhood childhoods that like it's ingrained in me. I remember playing the Game Boy games and the Nintendo DS games when I was just like a little kid and going to a new area and like discovering Lavender Town and it's scaring me and then me going home and making a video about it on the oh, internet. Oh yeah, that's that got right. A bunch of I views. remember. Like, I used to yeah, watch same. your Pokemon videos back in the day. Everyone has seen that Lavender Town video back in the day. Like you just don't get lore like that from the new games. The original ones for the Game Boy have better storylines and better atmosphere atmosphere than the ones on the nintendo switch and they're going to be remembered for years to come uh it's just, just unfortunate. i can't even finish the new nintendo switch one because it's so fucking boring it's so fucking yeah. boring game fuck off i'm not here's the thing if the new game doesn't have like you know if it doesn't have like a modicum of effort by game which it won't like why, why, why am i lying to myself now <laughs> i'm not excited all right fuck pokemon <laughs> You see, right, you, you know it would be good if Mark Zuckerberg teamed up with Game Freak and made Pokemon in the metaverse. See, that is something I think everyone would be into. You saw how big Pokemon Go was Pokemon just because in the you metaverse. can like, tap your phone in random places. Bro, metaverse Pokemon? That would be insane. If, 
if Pokemon made a metaverse, it would immediately be more valuable than Facebook. It would be more metaverse. valuable than the fucking Facebook company at this point. No, but like, think about would. how cool that is. Okay, like, okay, so Yu Gi Oh, right? Like, when I was a kid, all right, obviously they kind of touched upon like you know 3D. Like, it was like they had a they had a battle deck thing in the anime, right? And they were like generating them with holograms. Yeah, so yeah. it looked fucking cool. Yeah. But like with the with Pokemon, imagine if like we could put on the goggles and you throw out like fucking like you know Charizard and they'd be like life sized. Yes, that would be insane. You know, See, or that's, like, or that's like, what the metaverse you know, you, should you be. Grab, you grab a ball and you just throw that shit out into a lake. Fucking Gyarados like swims up, and then you're actually battling with other players. So like you're literally on the ground. Like, okay, seeing, like, dude, all you these can't ride them. All right, sure, but you know, you gotta pet them. Give them no, you could ride them. Immediately. That would be so yeah. cool. But no. no, it'd be really fun to have a world to explore where, like, yeah, you can, like, capture these, like, gargantuan Pokemon or, and, like, actually or, hear me out, hear me out, you yeah. could spend a ton of money on an ugly monkey picture and you could put it on the wall of your fake mansion in a fake that world. That is true. That is the true. Alternative. You could buy it for $400,000 and now it's worth $90,000. I, I would dollars. fucking kill to see Game Freak or Nintendo make that because, oh, you're right, that would be immediately more valuable than, like, fucking any... That would be, like... A, see, that's the meta... That, that's where, like, I would actually buy... Like, if they started selling, like, NFTs or some crypto shit tied with that, I'd actually buy it because it's like, oh, Pokemon, I get to explore this world with the friends, hunt shinies with friends, like, Can you imagine if there was yeah. some kind of, like, Google Glasses kind of thing that you'd, you'd put it on and you'd see, like... Kind of like Pokemon Go's augmented reality, but really poorly. Mm -hmm. Imagine seeing an augmented Microsoft reality Pokemon properly. Yeah, my, Microsoft has a product Hololens, like yeah. that. They have an an a like a, a ARG uh, Minecraft that you could like set up Minecraft on a table. And, like, yeah, move the Hololens or whatever. But I think it's like a military yeah. application now. Or like, fuck Minecraft. Let's just let's let's just kill people with this shit. Why not? <laughs> it's a lot more profitable. I, yeah. Yeah, but I, I will I will give it to Nintendo and Game Freak. At least they they haven't done any crypto Yet. rug pulls. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they're so behind the times. They're gonna do a crypto rug pull in like five years. They're gonna be like, "Have you heard of Buttcoin?" Yeah, I'm like envisioning nah, that announcement NFT for... right now. Game Freak. <laughs> if, if they made an NFT for every Pokemon, those would actually be worth something. They would actually. If they only had them. said each Pokemon only has one has one yeah, NFT attached to it. Pikachu's going on sale. It would probably Pikachu would. Oh man, I mean that would be like the original three starters. That would be like some of the highest valued shit you'd ever see. Charizard would. Charizard would be the most. You think, you valuable think it would crack them, seven figures? It would go along with the. It would go along with the trading card. Logan Paul would probably <laughs> buy it. Logan Paul would buy every one of them. Logan Paul would inflate the price. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the podcast. <laughs> I actually don't know how we derailed. And every time, this has been the fifth time we've all ended up talking about fucking Game Freak. I swear to God, we're not paid by them. <laughs> I wish. Right, Quite but to we the are contrary, not. in fact. They, Quite, they yeah. copyright us. <laughs> yeah. We, we, we are not the biggest fans of Game Freak in this audience. Sam, are you a fan of Game Freak? Oh, he's, he's all right. Only the hottest like... takes on this podcast. Okay, Nothing right, but, yeah. or anything. He's, he's, try, he's trying to cater to the audience here. He needs to understand that there's a lot of... You know, I, I, I respect it. But you know what? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Surreal Entertainment. Surreal, would you like to explain to us what you do exactly in your channel? Just as just a final closing. Uh, yeah, I make uh, 3D animations mostly of uh, different memes, parodies. Uh, and that's basically it. She Hulk. Just say She Hulk. I just wanted you to also say She Hulk. Oh, yeah. I also, I also did all the CGI for She-Hulk, actually, actually true. Shut the fuck up. If you did, it would be a way out of your fucking budgeted show. I've seen, the, no, I've seen She-Hulk, man. How is anyone defending that fucking show? Yeah, That's a Marvel insane. show. It's actually insane. I don't think anyone Dude. is defending She-Hulk. Like, it's one of the, it's, it's impressive how universal She-Hulk is in ev how everyone hates it. Bro, I've been on YouTube and people are like, well, the writing is pretty decent. Really, guys? Really? The writing is decent? <laughs> Shit. Well, you have people like the quartering come out hating on it. So then there's like another end that will just defend it for the sake of being oh, the other yeah, side of, of that fight. So that's really what it comes down to. It becomes some stupid social war thing about some trash Disney Plus show. I mean, I've, I've just seen like uh, random clips from it and like all the... I saw a clip of uh, like she twerking in her office or something, 
I'm not just <laughs> like what the hell. <laughs> You got you guys remember Channel Awesome? Who here knows about? Yeah, nostalgia I today? know Channel Awesome. Do you remember the? Has anybody ever watched a Channel Awesome movie? Yes, I did. No. <laughs> Which All one? There's multiple. Because I have. I I've, no. I've seen I, I've, every Channel Awesome movie in existence. I have. Really? I I want. Let me tell you something. When you want to like, when you want to feel good about yourself. <laughs> You watch one of them. <laughs> and, and so, like, I put on the movies. I swear to God, I will die on this hill. They have better CGI and passion than all of Marvel She-Hulk. I'll die on that hill. I don't even fuck. They, they've produced better CG work. But, yeah, that's, um... I think we're gonna leave it on that one. Marvel, you are, uh, some of the, right. some of the worst fucking offenders I've ever seen. Jesus Christ. But yeah, check out Surreal Entertainment, check out Gamer from Mars, and check out Nux Taku. And if you're absolutely, absolutely at the bottom barrel, you can absolutely check me out. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been another episode of the podcast. Hope you like what you saw. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it. We are out.